pay carbon taxes in 500 days. The earth dead. That's French uh, main minister uh, the, uh, saying that. I mean, it's just uh, CNN says, NASA says that the Antarctic's going to melt. We're going to flood. It's all lies. Paul Watson has an article on Infowars.com and PrisonPlanet.com about that. Russian foreign minister demands to know what's going on with mercenaries in Ukraine. The Russians are kicking the U.S. off the International Space Station. Huge news. I mean, it is just so amazing, all the stuff that's happening. Russia moves to de-dollarize all their petro sales. That's a big deal. But the globalists don't care if it runs America or Russia in the ground. They're making money from both ends. Now, we take you to rural uh, Virginia, outside Bowling Green, Virginia, where there is a major U.S. Army base. And within that base, there is another 300-acre base with a mock U.S. city. And every time we've tried to go, even at the G20, to a U.S. military base, that, that, that time a National Guard Armory, we'd called ahead. They told us the name of the public information officer. We showed up, camera rolling, and they said, you've got bombs and are here to blow the base up. Everybody heard that, saw that video. And then they had the police come after our guys, and our guys laughed at the police. I got the cops on air on the radio. That's on YouTube now, saved from four years ago. Rob Dew was there. And they then backed off and I laughed at the cop and I said, so I'm supposed to like believe this mind control now that we're terrorists and then we all act scared and then you actually try to set somebody up. I said, you're setting people up and you're engaging criminal actions. And he said, look, we're dropping the whole thing. Have a nice day. I mean, it was just all this mind game. So we're going to see if American reporters for a major independent news organization with three million radio listeners a day. Over a million uh, people that watch us one way or another uh, via video every day. That's a very conservative number. Got like 9 million viewers a week on our YouTube channel now. We're sending our reporters there. Sar Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs, highly decorated Army soldier from Iraq and Afghanistan, and uh, engineer and reporter uh, right there, David Knight. We're going to skip this network break. This is so important. Guys, you're only a few minutes away from this. Uh, tell us where you are, the, the name of the base for folks, where it's located, and why we're here. Because they're there training openly to take on the American people. We have to draw attention to this. They want to hide it in plain view. A giant threat fusion center with the FBI, the local police. They're building these all over. This is a federal takeover command base, in my view. Probably a FEMA camp will get Biggs's take on the fences within the fences, the Constantina wire. But gentlemen, uh, tell folks what's going on. Well, Alex, we're right here at the base. We stopped at the uh, guard shack the, uh, to have a, an entry uh, point within the fort, AP Hill. There's a separate area here for the Asymmetric Warfare Group. We stopped there and we showed them the uh, request that we had sent multiple times to talk to the lady who shot the video. They have now let us, they're going to let us drive through the area. So if you want us to take a video, we can uh, show you what we're seeing right now as we're driving oh, through Oh, good. The so they did the smart thing and are going to let you now do an inspection instead of doing what the Army did last time, claiming we wanted to blow the base up. Well, I asked the lady, I was like, since I'm a retired uh, Army, I should have access to all this stuff. And she, after I gave her my ID and all that, she just kind of, they opened the gates and said we could go right, through. So, we're Okay, good, go. good, good. Well, before they throw you out then, I want you to get HD shots of the church, the U.S. signs, the subway stuff, and then go find that colonel or whoever their public information person is and uh, see if you can get a tour then. Okay, well, we're going through right now. They're letting us go in, uh, take a look at the place, and uh, uh, it's not looking like it's very well focused here on the camera, but... That's right. If you just touch the screen, it'll uh, focus for you. Yeah, it's not doing that. Or we can reconnect it. it, it it's fine. Uh, but, again, uh, we've got the crew. Uh, it's focusing on the windshield. You guys can just get out and get some shots, and the main thing is get HD of this, because I want to do an inspection of that base, and that's good. I know you guys are already there talking to the reporter that did the original report, so I'm sure you already called him, and that's a good thing. I'm glad they didn't freak out like they usually do. But like I said, the military is waking up, uh, but we'll see what happens. We'll see if in a minute the, the, the police cars arrive or you know, folks try to grab your cameras like they did at the NSA when I sent um, Anthony Gucciardi and Josh Owens up there. But continue to give us uh, your take on this base. Let's get Biggs's take uh, on the base when you guys scouted it out from the outside yesterday. Like I said, we're going to skip this network break. All sure, right. Go, mm -hmm. go can ahead. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, the, the weird thing is, is I, you know, I've been in a lot of Army bases and how they have a fence set up with Constantino wire around a piece of property within the base. The only place I've ever seen 
Uh, we're getting some Skype break up. Let's reconnect with them. That's a directive. Reconnect with the Skype. And then uh, we will uh, try to do a Ustream, see if that gets a better pickup. But just main thing is I want HD shot of it. And I want to go, uh, again, get, get footage of, of the churches and uh, the sports stadiums and uh, you know all the rest of it inside of their, uh, where they're training for this. But this is good. And then he was going to, he already told me it looks like a FEMA camp, how they have a base. And then Constantino Wire around the internal 300 acre training facility. Uh, so, again, this is basically a FEMA training center hiding in plain view. We know that the military trains with the FBI and local police at that facility. And the issue is, yes, the police should get military training. But the, uh, but the problem is they're integrating the forces together under secret DOD directives that we were able to get and leak back in 1998, which have been subsequently been declassified. Uh, under uh, the uh, assistance program, as the Army calls it. The okay, Marines. Alex, uh, this looks really good. Okay, we do have high def now. Uh, good job, guys. Please continue. All uh, right, yeah, this is the first time I've ever been inside an Army base where they actually have a fence around a piece of property within the base. The only time I've ever seen that at is at the Delta Force compound. Right now we're passing a, uh, a train station that they have built up, and as you can see, it's pretty, pretty uh, detailed and realistic looking. We're going to start making our way around towards the uh, the embassy center and the uh, apartment complex that they have in here. Now, I'll repeat what you told me this morning about what you saw from the outside. Uh, I mean, why would they want to have a base inside with Constantino wire around it? Well, it's, it's weird. They, they don't mind you seeing in, but it looks like once you get in, they don't want you to get out. <laughs> Yeah, this is very interesting. Again, only the Army has released footage of this so far, and now you're inside of it. Why wouldn't the rest of the media want to know what's being trained for in here? Well, from what the reporter we talked to today, he said that no one's been here since this has been built, since that original opening. So it looks like we're going to be the first people to come through here. Yeah, we asked him if he had been back or anybody else had gone back, because we were concerned about the connections that he mentioned between the FBI and law enforcement. When we spoke to him, he said uh, that... DEA also has been. Fire. Yeah, hang on, we're going to get. The, here's a fire station over here, which you can see. And he said there was an embassy building. That might be, I don't know, maybe this is the embassy building here. You can see there's here's a bank the bus. Of B &B. And uh, yeah, there you go. BBNT, 24 hours. I guess they've got uh, branches in Iraq as well. I don't know. <laughs> here's the apartment building with actual chairs and all that stuff you can see. Well, sure. I mean, obviously, this all has dual use as well. It's admitted the military is training to take on the American people. We can uh, put up the headline, you know, Army Trains for Tea Party Insurrection, Forbes magazine. Yeah, let's go inspect that church. I want you guys to get out at the church, please. Uh, U.S. Army trains to take on the Tea Party. And then again, you can actually click similar headline to Forbes uh, covering that so folks can see Forbes for themselves. Um, again, this is a big deal when we have the biggest military in the world, half the military expenditure in the world of all the other countries, and more and more it's being focused on us. And the media and the sitcoms and the dramas are, are predictive programming that the war is going to be with gun owners. How the U.S. military would crush a Tea Party rebellion, Forbes. I mean, this is going on. And, and again, I've been obsessed with this ever since I learned about it under Bill Clinton. He was training them for gun confiscation. It's been a slow attempt to change the culture of the military, and I think it's backfired. Uh, you're walking up to the church, but I want to get Biggs' take on that. Biggs, uh, do you think this is why the military is waking up, or do you agree that a lot of the enlisted people and non-commissioned are aware of the police state? I I think some of them are starting to, but I think oh. this right here is going to be a... Uh, I feel like stained glass. I just... It, it went work. blank. No, you guys are doing great. Uh, keep going, Biggs. The door is locked and we can't see through the window. The door is locked and the window panes are, uh, you can't see the stained glasses, you can't see through. But I mean, I think after this video today, it's going to wake up a lot of people in the military. Like, you know, why are we doing this? I mean, to see this kind of detail that we're out here right now. And look, I mean, those are crosses. Scary. It's got a steeple and crosses on the windows. That is a Christian church. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, I've never seen a First Baptist in Syria, Alex, or uh, Iraq or Afghanistan. So uh, what they're training for, I don't know. All right, now, uh, Joe Biggs is, is, again, reporting from the military base there in Virginia. What does your gut tell you this base is really for? I mean, we have a good idea, and uh, we had requests. They never responded to us. 
what does your gut tell you and your training and your experience? Well, I mean, they're definitely up to no good. I mean, my gut doesn't feel anything. I mean, I had goosebumps coming in here yesterday when we first came out here and approached it and looked around. I mean, when you try to, as a civilian, if you were to come on base from the outside road, you can't really see it. You can only see kind of the top of maybe a building or so. But once you get down here, I mean, if I was actually still in the Army and they brought me out here to train, I mean, I would be scared for what it is they're trying to do. I mean, what are they trying to get us ready for? Hopefully enough soldiers are awake and know that... uh really nothing can good come from this i mean i just i have goosebumps right now i'm well they're having scared. all these giant urban warfare training drills in major cities and they admit it's a psyop to acclimate the general public for uh war but but again it'd be one thing if we had a collapse or a meteorite or a bunch of reactors blow up we'd need the military on the streets but no the globalists are engineering a societal collapse pushing race war and all these other balkanization tactics to then bring in the military as the savior and set uh, the precedent. What do you think about that analysis? Yeah, I agree with you there, Alex, completely, 110%. Uh, let's get... The, uh, traffic light, see the traffic light over there? That's incredible. We need to find the entrance into the subway area. There's a mosque over there as well. Well, uh, I heard there's an underground part under this mosque that has interconnecting tunnels between all the buildings is what I found out. So they said that's supposed to be the part that makes it a little bit more realistic how the Taliban burrow tunnels underground to go from building to building, and that's how they are able to evade the uh, the military. In Iraq, they did a lot of stuff like that. They would burrow tunnels from building to building. But when I'm up here, I don't feel like I'm in Iraq or Afghanistan. I feel like I'm in, you know, D.C. or something like that. And I yeah, just... The reporter that we talked to earlier, uh, but the reporter we talked to earlier, Alex, uh, was saying that the, they didn't let them out when they took the tour here. Uh, they only let them out in the subway area, and the subway area, he said, was very detailed. He said everything was uh, in there. So, Well, we saw it. It's, it's modeled after D.C. They admit that. That's right. I've watched a lot of videos from the Asymmetric Warfare Group from 2006, and what they're saying is that they're concerned about not Muslims, but about people who have political and economic grievances. That's why they're focused on the Tea Party. They say that in these countries that they've gone to, it isn't the religious extremists. He said they use the the uh, religion as a framework, as a foundation for what they want to do, but it's people who feel like they no longer have any self-determination, who feel like they're being dominated, whose freedoms are being taken away, whose dignity is being taken away. That's what they're saying that they're concerned about. So that's why they're conflating the Tea Party with terrorists here in America. That's why they have them in the scenarios is because they're focused on people that they're removing their dignity, removing their freedom, taking their resources as they've done in other countries. That's what they're planning to do here, but they're kind of doing it in a different order. They're setting up gradually these kind of control points over transportation like you see at the airports and they're rolling this tyranny out in slow motion instead of coming in and destroying the country first. They're putting in all the control grid first. And again, mainstream publications admit this. It's not even being hidden anymore because they have to mainline it before they actually try to roll it out during an economic collapse, a new world war, uh, a, a SARS outbreak. 22 people have been sent home uh, fearing they may have SARS. Two more hospital workers in the U.S. have gotten SARS. I mean, there are real reasons to need the military to be ready uh, to stabilize the country. The problem is they're training to take on the Tea Party and gun owners, and you can see the scripting that we're going to stage terror attacks, uh, and so we are now the new terrorist, and Al-Qaeda is our new friend. This is asinine. Yeah, and one of the uh, videos that I saw from a conference, again, that I mentioned back in 2006, that they put up on their own uh, website, a Marine colonel who's retired said that the true believers, whether they're Muslims, Christians, or even Marines, are the ones who have to be eliminated. You can't deal with them. That's another reason why they're coming after Christians. They don't want people who have a strong foundation, who know what they believe, people who are awake, who are aware, who are, are seeing things that are going on. They, they want jellyfish that can be given a new worldview every five minutes. And, and, and what was right. the big Pentagon report came out just a few months ago? It said they're worried about highly motivated individuals and dynamic individuals who just self-determined. They're afraid of freedom and humanity. They're afraid of normal competition. Yes, that's what they were saying. They said it, they did a study of a survey of a billion Muslims. And the ones that they found were potential radical. Tell you what, stay there, David. Your, your, your audio's cutting out. We're going to come right back to David Knight and Staff Sergeant Joe Biggs. They're at the military base.
Uh, the big training camp looks, looks like it operates as a FEMA center as well. And I saw those underground subways. They look like they're connected to something real. We're on the mark.